What's up, guys? John here from Type Medical Center, and you might recognize the person standing next to me, this beautiful guy right here. If you don't know who he is, this is one of my APRNs, Cass Fernandez. He is very inclined and in tune to hormone replacement therapy. So I thought you guys wouldn't want to see my ugly mug or just my ugly mug. So I want to bring a beautiful guy on here so he can show you guys and tell you guys about hormone replacement therapy in a more medical way, per se, right? So let's break it down and really get into it, Cass. So Cass, what is a hormone? It's a great question. A hormone is a chemical that makes up how we feel pretty much every day. It can be our mood how we feel as far as sleep goes, energy levels, and it affects our overall health. Right, so hormones are very important in our body, right? Absolutely, 100%. I mean, they pretty much signal and do a lot of different things that our body needs and helps us grow and helps us think and metabolism and all these great things. So hormone replacement therapy you think is pretty important for people? It couldn't be more important. Hormone therapy basically makes up our well-being, our quality of life. And that's for people that just need it, not people just trying to get big in the gym or do those things. Oh, it does so much more than just build muscles. I mean, it goes from focus, energy levels, recovery, sleep quality, libido health, overall health in general. Right. I think that's a big misconception out there that people, you know, they, they think, oh, you know, testosterone and all these things, it's just for people wanting to get big and I'm going to get all aggressive and flip out on people and all these bad things, right? Yeah, that, that couldn't be further from the truth. I mean, hormones will balance you out. It's okay. gonna make you feel better, more okay. productive at life in general. The only way people become aggressive, if that even happens, is when they abuse things, when they do things without a medical provider, without right. Teen Titan. Right. So those are ways that we can make you feel good, make you feel stable. Mm -hmm. So the best way to look at, maybe if I need hormone replacement therapy, because it's maybe not for everybody out there, the first thing is probably do is a blood test, right? Absolutely, simple blood test. We can evaluate whether you have an indication for treatment and mm -hmm. optimization. Okay, awesome, so blood test, and then they get to talk to you or one of the other medical providers? That's right, yes, we're here to help. Okay, and in this conversation or consultation, you pretty much go in depth with everything, right? Family history, health history, they talk about their symptoms, possible goals. Sure, that, that's part of the evaluation. That's part of the indication. So it's not just a number. You know, it's more overall health, well-being, and symptoms. All that comes into play when it comes to diagnosing, treating, and just improving life overall with hormone replacement therapy. And I think that's a big thing that people need to know out there. That, you know, you want to go to somebody that is very in tune to hormone replacement therapy. That's dealing with it on a daily basis and seeing patients over and over and over and helping patients out with this. That's what Type Medical Center really does specialize in. Specializes in results and we have our medical providers yeah. and practitioners here that are really inclined and in tune to help you guys out with your quality of life and to get you right guys into a harmonic balance per se. Because, I mean, you can't throw hormones off, too, as well, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, balance is everything. You can't just think, take this hormone, and you're going to feel better. Well, that has an effect on another hormone. So okay. some providers don't really follow them that closely like we do here at Titan. Right. So we know affecting one hormone affects another and can quite possibly make you feel ill. So we will balance them out so you're level. Right. So that's really important for you guys to know. Not everybody is really in tune to hormones or knows kind of what they're talking about. I mean, there's a lot of doctors out there, a lot of practitioners out there that can practice hormone replacement therapy, but not might, or they might not be as good at it, I guess, or might not be practicing as much as they should be, uh, or might not just have the knowledge, you know, that some of our practitioners do. Um, Type Medical Center's been around for nine years. We got a pretty good record as far as that with our patients, great retention, great results for our patients, and great medical providers to deal with our patients. So. In this consultation, it's pretty much a personalized consultation with you and the patient. Um, and how long do those consultations usually last? I mean, they last about 20 to 45 minutes, depending how much information you need, how much information I need to find out and figure out to just okay. optimize the patient overall. So in general, you come see us, we'll talk about your goals, we'll talk about your previous medical history, your family history, you know, if there's any indicators for treatment. So we're gonna go in depth to a customized program that's just for you, not for, right. it's not one size fits all by Absolutely. any means. This Absolutely. is very customizable. All doses are different depending on the patient's needs. That's right, that's right. And that's big out there. It's not a cookie cutter program. 
But a lot of different places out there, you might be getting a cookie cutter. Not one size fits all, just like Cass said. And it's very true because, you know, different medications can affect our bodies differently, right? Everybody's different to a certain extent? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's all about metabolism, how you how you metabolize. Mm -hmm. You know, we can kind of see that from different medical issues with patients. Mm -hmm. You know, one patient may not respond the same way another patient responds. Gotcha. So we take that into consideration when we're thinking about treatment programs for our patients. So it's, like I said, very customizable. Very good, very good. So this is really important information for you as a patient. You wanna know that the medical provider is gonna be there for you. They're gonna be able to explain a lot of these different things in depth to you guys, explain how to do these medications, possibly offer other therapies that can help you improve your quality of life and overall health because that should be number one priority, right? Couldn't I mean, be further from the truth. Overall know? health, that's what we do. Absolutely. Overall health. It's Absolutely. not just muscles. That's a great side effect of our therapies, but Absolutely. it's more about optimizing health. Absolutely. From from libido to metabolism to concentration levels to a lot, lot more, hormone replacement therapy might be a great option for you. So if you want to see one of our great medical practitioners, our providers, the first step for hormone replacement therapy is to call or text us at 727-389-3220. We can set you up with blood work in your area, anywhere in the United States. And you can either come into our office, or if you're not in the area, you can always do FaceTime if you have an Apple product, or you can do Skype if you have an Android or a computer that doesn't have an Apple product associated with it. And you can possibly see Cass Fernandez himself, APRN, or one of our other great medical providers that can help you guys out with your questions, concerns, and to put you guys back on track and your road to success with hormone replacement therapy. What's up guys, John here from Titan. I'm out here with my crew, my Titan family, enjoying this Sunday fun day in St. Petersburg, Florida. 85 degree weather, another Titan Medical Center sponsored event, Festival is a speed, and we are enjoying it. I know these people are enjoying it because it's a packed house. And you know when Titan Medical Center is here, you know it's gonna be even more packed house. So we're out here enjoying. I can't wait to see all the beautiful people come by the booth, sign up, get a free t-shirt and a bag. So tell us a little bit, Cody, what have you had here today? What have I had? I had a Philly cheese sandwich, which was really good. <laughs> and I can still eat that because I took my ECA. And I'm still burning calories while I'm working. It's amazing. Drew? Uh, I feel great. I'm all pumped up from my Hercules. Even though I ate two hours ago, I'm still pumped up now. Loving it tight medical, 85 degree weather in January. It's Florida, baby. Loving it. Guys, for more information, 727-389-3220. You can call or text us or visit us at www.tightmedicalcenter.com. Gino, Interwolf Aesthetics. I'm here with the family. We got Sin Dynamite here just rocking it out. Man, it is beautiful here in St. Petersburg, Florida. We're sitting here at the Titan Medical Center tent. Oh my God, the Festival of Speed, it's amazing. You guys gotta come on down. They're giving away some free swag, some good information. Just bring it down, bring the family, it's a blast. Hey guys, I'm Ms. Sham here, out here with Lindsay. We're out here in another Titan Medical event. So a lot of people ask us, how do we stay so energized, so motivated? And I'm gonna have Lindsay tell you guys a little bit of our therapy. 
Yeah, so today I took an ECA stack. I feel amazing. I'm ready for the day and I'm ready to talk to people. I'm ready to get after it. That's what we're here about at Titan. We're just ready to go, you know, get you to where you need to be. What's up, guys? John, Cherise, and our two good friends are here. Um, Hello. This brings back a lot of memories with James and George here. Because we knew these guys before we even started Titan Medical Center, right? Way before. Way before, like years and years before. Now, Titan Medical Center has been around for over seven years plus. So that's making us, I guess, get a little bit old, huh, guys? <laughs> it's like yesterday. <laughs> that's crazy. True. We've been a little old. Look how successful they are, too. You guys did a really good job, man. I mean, thank you, look at thank this. You. And so are these here, guys. There. Yeah. I mean, you know, in their own life, these guys are creating and doing big, big things. George in the real estate industry, my man James is doing the stock market industry, plus he's got his company Jaffo, which is helping people around the world. True. And that's really what it's all about, man. Yeah, helping people and feeling good inside. I was just saying, I'm like the uh, old cars here, the uh, old outside, but the good inside. <laughs> he's rocking 550 rolling. horsepower, just keep going. <laughs> He just run out of gas, and I run out of gas. Everyone's like, "Hey, I do." <laughs> Little maintenance here and there, right? <laughs> I need a towel. I need a dry towel. And George here, he's the fine age. I mean, oh this guy, you wouldn't even be able to guess his age, right? Minus the grays, minus the grays. <laughs> he's got more. He's got a kid, though. <laughs> Beautiful family, right? Beautiful wife. Great yeah, family guy all the way around. She went away from you, what? Where'd she go? Kill the real estate game. So I mean, you know, it's just awesome. Things like this and people like this bring back memories to us and really truly take us back to where we were, our roots. Our, our roots, man. So we, we remember where we started, we remember these people, and it's always great to have these people around us because we know before Titan, when we had nothing, these guys were still here and our friends. So always. it's a great I love feeling. You guys. Good love you guys. Yeah. Love you too, man. Aww. Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about blood testing panels and the differences, okay? Beware and be warned. There are some things out there that you might not know and you might assume, okay? Now let's talk about what we're going to get into today, which is blood panels. So here at Titan Medical Center, we offer a full male blood panel and a full female blood panel. Now you may go to somewhere else or see somewhere else and they're advertising a full panel or your general doctor primary care doctor says i'm giving you a full blood panel and what does that mean to you okay because you think hey listen there's a full blood panel and there's a full blood panel these must be the same but really they're probably not and let me explain why so when we talk, start looking at blood panels specifically looking at each one of them Okay, so you want to look at exactly what you're getting, the blood panels. For example, we do a CMP14, which has 14 lab tests in that one panel. We also do a CBC, which is a complete blood cell count. We do uh, progesterone, free and total testosterone, IGF-1 level. We also do a PSA for males. Uh, we have IGF-1 levels, which are growth hormone levels. We do B12 levels. That is generally the male panel, okay? And when I see full male panel advertised somewhere else, it's missing some of these tests. And these can be important tests to uncover some of the issues or problems you may be having. Or it's not checking everything that you really need to be safe to possibly go on some of these therapies or treatments, specifically testosterone replacement therapy or hormone replacement therapy. And let me give you an example. So. When you're going to go on testosterone replacement therapy, most medical providers are going to want to look at a couple different things, or should. Let's talk about what they are. So the first one would obviously be a CMP. So in the CMP, it's a comprehensive metabolic panel. And the main things they're really going to look at in there are liver and kidneys, okay? And want to make sure those functions are good. After that, I hope they're going to do a complete blood cell count. Looking at key factors like hemoglobin, hematocrit, red blood cell count, white blood cell count, make sure there's no infection, make sure the blood is not thick already because going on an antigen, anabolic steroid like testosterone is, this can thicken the blood and cause you a lot of different health issues like stroke, DVT, blood clots. So you want to make sure that your health is number one priority because you don't want to be on blood thinners, okay? So that's another test. 
for males, a PSA, okay? And for this, they're gonna look at the prostate through the blood and make sure it's not at a higher level marker, over 4.0 usually on reference ranges. With this, you're also gonna look at free and total testosterone. Some places only look at total testosterone. That's gonna do you no good, and let me tell you why. Because if you take a free and total testosterone test, you're looking at the total, which is your reservoir, and you're looking at what's pulling from that reservoir. Okay, you're free, what's getting utilized in the body. If you're only looking at a total testosterone, it could be a good level. And they say, oh, well, you're at a good level, you know, there must be something else wrong. Well, it could be your free testosterone that needs to be fixed. They should also know where your free testosterone is because sometimes I see totals very low, the medical staff does, and at that point, they have a great free testosterone. So these are different things that you're gonna to wanna to look at in there. Now, these are just some of the tests that they should be covering with your blood panel to make sure that you're good and safe and ready to go properly on hormone replacement therapy or testosterone replacement therapy, okay? And make sure it's apples to apples testing. Just because a price looks better than one doesn't mean you're getting the exact same thing. So really do your research, get the education, know what you're looking at before you go with a blood panel. Now, if you need a blood panel set up, we service nationwide. And I guarantee we have the lowest price out there that you can possibly find with the most comprehensive panels available. And we offer a lot more than I listed, but I could just keep going on and on and on of what those panels are. So if you want to get a blood panel done by Titan Medical Center and we service nationwide with this, all you have to do is call or text 727-389-3220 and you can sign up for a Titan Medical Center full blood panel that I guarantee is going to have more tests than anybody out there for the price apples to apples. Okay, that's a guarantee from me, John, from Titan. So I hope you guys have got some good information from this. Do your research, get the education. And after that, if you want help, we're here to help you at Titan Medical Center. I'm John from Titan. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Thanks. What's up guys, John here. Sharice. And we are here with another episode of Cupid's Corner. So we wanna thank you guys for joining us all the time and learning these tips and tricks that should help your relationship. Uh, it'll help you get to the next level hopefully. It'll help hopefully ignite that spark that maybe was diminished out or wasn't as strong as it used to be before. Mm -hmm. So we have learned these different things through our relationship in 12 plus years going on. And you know, it's trials and tribulations. You gotta work through some of these things, mm -hmm. but you learn some great things along the way, especially if you stay together, right? And that's, that's the object, to have passion and be able to stay together for a long period of time and grow old together. Stick it out. That's what they say in the movies, right? We're gonna grow old with you together. I can't wait till I'm on like a little rocking chair. We're like rocking and just like, oh, this has been <laughs> such a great experience. Hopefully we'll have bonded bodies by that point, okay? <laughs> I don't wanna be sitting we'll see there. John, right. 90 years old, hopping around the backyard. You know I like the new toy, so hopefully they'll have some good technology, and I'm sure they will. <laughs> but, you know, this show, we really wanna cover, you know, a couple different things. One, um, kissing or being intimate with your partner. So this is good, and this is good for your health. Um, this actually ups oxytocin in, in the brain, in the body, and it lowers cortisol. So if you don't know what these things are, oxytocin is the happy hormone. Yes. Right? And cortisol is the stress hormone. Mm -hmm. Nobody, I mean, all of you guys, I'm sure, with everything going on, at some point in the past three months, your cortisol levels have probably been elevated because Absolutely. of the stress, you know? Absolutely. From work, your kids, personal things might be going on with mm -hmm. you and stuff like that. So, you know, 
you want to be intimate with your partner and kiss your partner and you might not know it, but you're actually helping yourself. Mm -hmm. And it does burn a little bit of calories. It's not a lot of calories, but it is, I guess it is some, but you can't, you know, that's not giving you a permission to eat junk food and be like, oh, well, I'll just kiss a lot more. No, that's not the kiss work. is... The kisses turn into other things that are cardiovascular activities, oh. and then you can go eat a piece of cake. And then you can actually tell if you have the stamina or not, I guess, <laughs> and if you need to work on your endurance or not, right? <laughs> and we have things that maybe can help you do that too. But, you know, it really comes down to that. So be intimate with your partner, kiss your partner, right? Because you'll obviously be helping yourself. So oxytocin, like I said, it's the, it's the happy hormone. It's the mm -hmm. bonding hormone. Um, it's something that opens up trust with your partner okay um it, it, it's good for a lot of different things it's neurotransmitter as far as that goes and then you have cortisol so cortisol gets a bad rap I mean, mm -hmm. you're going to put some cortisol in it's going to go in the bloodstream now at high levels of anxiety or stress you're going to release more cortisol into the bloodstream and that can actually be bad for your health mm -hmm. right um and this can cause anxiety it can cause you to retain water or you know fat deposits you know at that point so you want to make sure that you're getting a good stress reliever too mm -hmm. if you're having all this stress and a lot of people are having stress right now so lower cortisol levels increase oxytocin levels and you guys should be good to go at least in that department anyway right <laughs> so that's one thing and if we're going to talk about hormones like oxytocin and mm -hmm. cortisol we might as well talk about how hormones affect relationships because mm -hmm. it does affect relationships okay? on many levels and this can be emotionally physically mentally yeah. um when i say emotionally i mean a lot of females out there even guys but a lot of females and guys could be either super moody because their hormones are off or they could be really emotional because their hormones are off and so you have to remember that you know say you guys have been intimate for five six seven eight nine ten years whatever and for some whatever reason, you guys drop off and it's like, well, what's going on? That could very well be a problem. Yes, absolutely. 100%. Absolutely. Your partner might be feeling like, why is this, you know, my partner being distant from me? Might what's think going it's on? Their fault. Is it me? Mm -hmm. What are they doing? What's mm -hmm. going on? It, it wasn't like this. And all of a sudden now it's, it's, it's gotten this bad pattern here, mm -hmm. you know, and then that's not good because, you know, people like affection, right? Especially when you're in this relationship and if it's been going on for that long. Um, now, hormones affect the body in different ways, right? We know that from the brain to the cardiovascular system, your metabolism, uh, keeping lean body mass on, you know, just feeling good all overall, mm -hmm. right? But hormones can obviously damage a relationship too because if the hormones are off, people might be moody, like you said, mm -hmm. and then your partner might feel some type of way about it and right. then they might go a different route. Right. So, I mean, hormones. You might, even, you might not even be interested in the bedroom. Yes. That's a big one. Yes. Especially for females. I'm yeah. just speaking from a female's perspective. Yeah. But if for whatever reason, let's just say that he doesn't want to be intimate anymore. And, you know, it's just, he usually got to, one person's got to start it or another. But if they don't want to be inter like intimate with you anymore, then you kind of feel like maybe you did something wrong. And you guys haven't fought. Nothing's going on. And you're saying, well... I hope it's not someone else. Right. Now you start thinking all these crazy things, which is never a good thing when it could just very well be low testosterone for a guy. Right. I mean, uh, now our hormones can be affected with different things out there. It, it's not something you did per se. Mm -hmm. Now it could be toxins in the environment, you know, foods that we're eating from our food sources, uh, EDCs, endocrine disrupting chemicals mm -hmm. in the air that, that could be affecting you or putting on your body that we're absorbing mm -hmm. that could be affecting hormones. And we see this. We know that hormones are going to decline with age for males and females. You know, mm -hmm. we're going to deteriorate and die. It, it's a fact of life, you mm -hmm. know. You know, you're going to pay taxes and, and you're going to die. That's <laughs> two things they say, that's guaranteed, right? That's what you got to look forward to. But, for sure. you know, so you want to live your best life and most, you know, the quality of life. And that's what hormones can come into play, too. So, mm -hmm. hormones can actually help a relationship. So, a lot of guys that, you know, they have low testosterone, they might be feeling depressed or, uh, you know, their libido's down or, they just don't feel like themselves, right? They're Motivation, right? drive, concentration, yep. you know, all that stuff's there and they're rare to go. So at that point, or the energy, fatigue too, that's yeah. another one. Um, so if they you know, go in and they get blood checked and they get their testosterone levels optimized or back where it needs to be, everything comes back, mm -hmm. right? So now you got one partner that is optimized and ready to go. <laughs> this happens then, often. And this does happen a lot. We get a lot of patients <laughs> where the male comes in, right? And he gets optimized, he gets feeling back to his old self and we're raring to go. And then, you know, the wife, you know, she's about the same age. And Surprise. at that point, 
you know, he's wanting to go all the time and have a good time. And she's, you know, like, she's like, oh my God, what's going on here? I just don't feel the same, right? And that's where they usually call up and they say, hey, listen, we want to get help just like my husband or significant other got help. Right. We want to be at that level. We want to feel good like that. We want to get back that feeling. Mm -hmm. And that's where we usually help out couples and that usually makes a relationship better. We've changed a lot of relationships like that. Yes, yes. It's, it's helped a Very lot rewarding. of different relationships. Um, plus, it, it helps their quality of life. So mm -hmm. you're not even just helping the relationship, but their day-to-day -day life. Yep. So going to work, all that jazz. Getting up, I mean, you know, being interested in the things you used to do, you know, I mean, that's that's another thing that a lot of people lose sight of. Like, oh, I just don't want to do it no more. There might be a reason why. Or, right. You know, if you're feeling depressed. So, I mean, that's, that's really where it is. And, you know, hormones can, you know, disrupt at all different ages. So people think it's got to be a specific age. Mm -hmm. At 30 years old as a male or, you know, for girls it, it might be, you know, 36 or whatever it might be. But, you know, like I said, hormones can be disrupted at all different ages. Mm -hmm. Now, especially for females. Let's talk about pregnancy in females. So we know when, you know, pregnancy happens, all different hormones are going on, mm -hmm. right? And then after birth, you know, they usually have depression, mm -hmm. right? Not all the time. Sometimes. 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 You're definitely gonna feel off because your body just went through, you know, this huge change. Well, think about the hormones. Right? So mm -hmm. there's a lot of different hormones that are going on at that point. You know, waiting until afterwards, having the baby, making sure you, if you're gonna breastfeed and stuff like that. And then mm -hmm. after you're all done with that and it's safe, or if you're using formula, whatever it is, get your hormones checked, see right. where they're at. Um, and at that point, you guys can adjust them and get back to feeling the way that you wanted to, get that baby body off, right? Because, I mean, girls want that. They're like, you know, I gained so much weight, or I, I only gained 10 pounds, but I want to get this baby weight off. We have a lot of females that go through that. It, it, it's, it's a fact of life. Right. Like, the, you know, that's what we're here. It's, as we procreate, and that's what it's going to do. It's going to affect hormones. Not 22 having a baby anymore, you know? I was 22 when we had our son. Yeah, yeah. Everybody always forgets that me and John do have a little baby boy. Not so little. He's going up. About to be 11. 11 next 11 week. 11 years old. 11 next week. I, my body did pretty bounce much back. bounce back to some degree. Absolutely. But when you're pregnant, you're around your 30s, and you have a baby, it might be a little bit more complicated to bounce back. You might not just bounce back. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's a hormone correction that went on though. Females have different things like PCOS, mm -hmm. uh, or these different things that could be affecting their hormones. Um, so everybody's different. And that's mm -hmm. where blood testing will really tell you what's going on inside your body. It's not a cookie cutter thing. So you wanna make sure that everybody's taking care of you if, that, if that's what it is. Uh, if you want help with your hormones, you can always call or text us at Titan Medical Center, 727-389-3220. Um, check out our website, www.titanmedicalcenter.com. And always great content and things will entertain you on our Facebook, uh, Instagram page, TikTok. You know, we've, That's got, a new one. we've got Twitter. So please go there, subscribe. YouTube has all our great videos. We've been open for over eight plus years now. So it's a lot of different content, instruction videos on some of the medications, um, lifestyle videos, just us out and about, having fun at some of the Titan Medical Center events. You'll see a lot more of this around town or around the state of Florida. So get ready. Titan <laughs> Medical Takeover is in full effect. So we want to thank you for tuning in to thank another Cubist Corner. Every Sunday at 11 a.m. Yep. on ABC. Titan Medical Health and Lifestyle Show. We are here for you guys. We appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys.